हेलो फ्रेंड्स वेलकम टू द शो यू कैन वॉच मी ऑन यूट्यूब फेसबुक ऑन माई शो अस्लान साहब पॉडकास्ट एज यू नो वेन एवर आई कम विद न्यू एपिसोड देर इज अ स्पेशल गेस्ट विद मी एंड वी लर्न अ लॉट फ्रॉम द गेस्ट फ्रॉम हर लाइफ जर्नी एंड फ्रॉम हर स्टोरी टूडे देर इज अ स्पेशल गेस्ट विद मी लेट्स वेलकम हर टू माई शो एंड नो मोर अबाउट हर हेलो डॉक्टर सुप्रिया हाउ आर यू thank you thank you and much gratitude aslan for inviting me to your podcast and it's been the loveliest honor for me so i am great and I'm humble and i am here uh, thank you so much uh, for your uh, valuable time thank you so much my pleasure hey uh, can you please uh, tell us about yourself and uh, about your work for the audience well a cross and shit and crisp and great that's called about your personality and this is a small intro of dr supriya kumar velan from india basically i was a medical professional a biotechnologist but my passion created a lot of zest and drawn me into the field of speaking public speaking so i am an international speaker toastmaster communication and leadership coach and presently i am kidos international cco that is chief creativity officer and my latest show host so a podcaster is a uh, being a guest honored at your podcast so this is a small intro about myself arslan so uh, how you met with uh, sir matt allen and how you joined the kudos international well this is a great story and a lovely journey which i would love to share with everyone across the globe who will be watching this video live or later on this is all about the online journey which you say about virtual platform so many people say oh virtual is just like injurious to health about net internet and this and i say the most important thing is how do you use the power of internet whether you break yourself spoil your eyes spoil your health or just make some boundaries and to make a time usage and use it and make yourself the best one so my journey says i was always used to be a great podcaster i used to podcast people inspiring the world with their life journey and when i was encountering a person call Matt Allen from UK i just saw his great work about kidos international and there and then i just invited for my podcast show which he really accepted and there and then our journey started and he gave me a real good offer for hosting on his uh, platform that is kidos international ladder show and therefore i accepted his great offer and i am here in front of you as kidos ladder show host So this is a small journey Arslan I hope this is or a small but very crisp and very great you can say uh, are there any specific topics uh, you cover on your let show well in today's world Arslan what i have found whether a person is successful whether a person is a top star whether a person is mediocre or whether a person is low person but everyone needs some motivation in their life and when you are motivating a person i think that's the best deed in this world we go to churches we go to temple we just go our head in front of our lord but you know austin what is the best way to serve humanity serve god and that is when you inspire the world with the needy people who really want an inspiration when you wipe tears of someone and bring a smile that's the real meaning of humanity and on kidos international lara show we are meeting with a lot of people of different domains different niche with different uh, you can say countries and we are inspiring the world with their professional journey or personal journey so we basically talk about their work their life passion what they are into and how we can connect with each other and help each other in growing up because 
So many people are there who would love to pull the legs of their competitors, cat and uh, rat race, you know, cutthroat competition. But the real meaning of humanity and valuable ethics says, let's rise together. Let's create miracles. And that's the motto of Kiddos International Lada Show. How you get the idea of uh, Kudos uh, Latte Show? Yeah, actually, uh, one day just we were just talking about the coffee with Matt, you know, what is his favorite coffee? So he told me that latte and I said, no, mine is cappuccino. So we were just talking about the types of coffee and we just said, anyhow, we are going to start about our uh, podcast. So why don't we create and, you know, some people are uh, some people have different, different names for their podcast and all are similar like a interview show let's talk let's go so we should have something unique that it should catch the attention of so many people so let's start about kiddos international cappuccino and then i said no it's it should not be cappuccino it should be kiddos international lara show and let's connect people over a coffee just like a coffee chat and the real value the real hidden meaning about this Lara show is to inspire people, is to inspire the world with your personality, with your deeds, and of course your prior experience, which has made a person very strong on the basis of so many challenges they had faced in their life. So this is just the journey you can say of Lara show, how it created. But besides the creation of this Lara show, there's a lot of humor. You know, a lot of types of coffee we talked about, latte, cappuccino, and other, 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 blah, 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 blah. But finally, latte wins. Yeah. Uh, what do you think that, what are the best qualities of a podcast host? Well, podcast host, if I talk about the most important quality, Arslan, is connection through heart to heart. That is most important. You know, when you connect with any person, and the person is from any part of the world, you know, any part of the country, you can say. The connection is how do you respect a person? How do you approach a person? And when you develop a small, lovable reputation or repo building, which we say, then it's very, 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 very easy to host a guest because. When you develop a comfort zone, when you develop a friendship, when you develop the connection, which I said, heart to heart connection, you can create miracles. You can do wonders. And even if your even if your guest is not feeling comfortable, within a blink of an eye, he or she will be so free, will be so friendly. And the way you approach people, the way you communicate, the way you talk about yourself and also about themselves. That's the best quality of a podcaster, which I have felt. And this is my experience. Connect with people, with your heart, with your love, with your passion. And the most important thing is respect a person. So these are the great qualities which will make a person a great podcaster or a YouTuber. Yeah. Uh, what do you think that uh, uh, why podcasting is important? Uh, is it important or not important? Well, in my uh, opinion, I must say it is very, very important. Now we are talking about digitalization. And when we are talking about digitalization, virtual world, virtual platform, then podcasting is just a boon, you know. People must talk to each other. People are talking about communication skills, soft skills, interpersonal skills. Don't you think, Arslan, talking here over a podcast is just like talking about themselves, talking about their passion, talking, talking about your life. And when you inspire even one person, suppose if I am inspiring even a one person with my life journey, we are doing wonders. If Arslan is inspiring, he's doing the wonders. So I think podcasting is a very, very necessary and a healthy communication. You know, healthy communication is very important. You can solve a number of problems just by communication. So I will give, it's just not like I'm a podcaster, but I see the positive benefits, the positive side of being a podcaster and how you are influencing the world which a podcaster is doing. And I must appreciate 
all the podcaster of the world who just do their lovely profession in such a loveliest way. So hats off to all the podcasters. My next question from you, how do you balance your personal and professional life? Ooh, this is really, really, really a juggling, juggling question, you can say. But yes, Aslan, of what I think, personal and professional, this, these two lives are very, very important in a personal life. And it's just like, uh, you know, soaring in this, say, taking your boat in a sailing a ship in a large ocean. And if you don't know how to balance this, it's a trick, then you will surely going to drown your ship. And how? That is the question. The word called prioritization. How much you give priority to what that decides your time management. According to my priorities, like what I have to get up, like a day before I'll chalk out the plans. I jot on the points. What are what is what are my plans for tomorrow? What is most important? What I have to do first? And first is you go with a lot of exercises. A morning walk is must for everyone. So if you are not healthy, if you are not happy, if you are not mentally fit, I don't think so. You can be a podcaster or even you can be a successful person in your life. So prioritizing my needs, prioritizing my you know schedule and work, that takes a lot of, not a lot of, you can say, a lot of enthusiasm, I can say, in prioritizing my work. And there and then, you can maintain your personal life and professional life, be a balanced person. Yeah. OK. Uh, can you share a challenge that you face in your life and how you overcome it? Yes, this is, I, I just love this question, Absalom. Well, challenges. You know, some people will call challenges as why in my life so much problems are there? So many problems are there. And when such negative attitude arises, that person can never, ever be a successful person. But if somebody is saying, well, I love these challenges, surely 100 doors will open for you. And Arslan, this is, I'm not saying just on uh, for the speaking sake, but this is my own experience. Challenges will either make you or break you. And it totally depends on us how we take up these challenges. In my life, there are n number of challenges happen, having, and will be happening. But how do I take it? I always take every challenge as what's the hidden golden opportunity. Like I have taken a lot of challenges. Sometimes I was not well and sometimes some problem came, but there were a uh, worker uh, is was there in front of me. And I said, be a dedicated person, do your best, leave the rest on God. And definitely, Ursuline, with this motto, when I accepted my all challenges, I found n number of golden opportunities which were waiting for me. And I really, really leverage large and huge amount of success from that. So there is a message with, for everyone. Take your challenges as golden opportunity, accept it, and just say when some hard situations comes in front of your life or a hard challenge, why it's me? No, try me life. And you will say you're the best person, you're the most strongest person, and you can win any battle in your life. That's it. How you get the confidence uh, of talking and uh, facing camera? Do you have uh, the confidence from the beginning? Well, Arslan, uh, when I was a child, you know, you can say class second or third, I always have the zest, you know. Ma'am, I will speak whenever my ma'am will call who is going to take volunteer or who is who will be the volunteer coming for the reading. And I will always raise my hand because I love speaking from the beginning of my childhood. And my mom used to say, you are a chatterbox, you know, you will always do blah, 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 blah. And this passion, you can say, when I used to go for my colleges, I used to participate in debating competition, elocution. Yeah, first instance, I used to feel nervousness. And this is very, very common for every speaker. But when you have a passion, that's what I said, from a biotechnologist to a public speaker, 
it's it's just your passion has only motivated me to being a very confident person and to face the people when you love people you will face you can face camera you can face a large amount of crowd and when you want deliberately your message to be conveyed to your audience trust me aslan you will not feel any nervousness so always focus on the people on the audience and your motto what motto you want to spread to you or to the world what motto you want to give to the audience and there and then you will not feel any hesitation or any sort of anxiety or fear so i'm sharing my experience and i hope i have given a proper judgment to your question yes yes uh, uh, how do you define communication and what is the importance of communication skill yeah this is one of the very important skill which everybody is thinking we can do we can speak but the most important thing in communication is when you are a good listener because communication is an exchange of information from a sender to a receiver some people think communication is just like blabbering proving only their points but in a layman language a com good communication is when you listen to the foremost person the person who is standing or sitting in front of you and you give equal weightage in listening to his or her views and then not reacting responding your answers very very promptly so this is the exact meaning of communication i mean you can find n number of definition but the real practical definition is exchange of information from sender to receiver and being a good listener when you empathize you respect and you understand my next question from you uh, what are your professional goals in the next 5 or 10 years well there are so many goals and there are so many mission and vision but still you have asked me this question and i would take a great privilege in answering your question this particular question my goal is to transform this world into a better place where people can change their negative mindset i have interviewed i have podcasted uh, across 500 to 1000 uh, people and there and i'm only finding still people are depressed still people are sad still people are not content why and that's my mission to change the world to bring happiness to bring peace to br and also this humanity we are talking about but in actual the humanity is serving people helping people unconditionally when you don't expect anything in return and you help a person unconditionally just not for the from fear of god or something it should come in your own heart it should develop in your own heart to help the people to uh, to create brotherhood to create sisterhood to create humanity and that is my mission arslan in my 5 to 10 years you can say professional goal or personal goals to change the world to transform the world into the best one and to create peace understanding love compassion success everywhere what inspired you to become an author and what is the message you are giving through your book well uh, i have not written any book but i am a book ardent fan of book reading so i read a lot of books and the recently which i had uh, learned and written uh, or you can say a lot of inspiration i got from one motivational speaker mr shiv khera i always used to read his books because his books had really really inspired me and of course you can say a book is there in front of me thank god and if you would changes everything so that you can say i love reading book because books are your best friends you can get a lot of thoughts how to speak even while podcasting a show you need uh, some sort of you know great uh, quotes quotations and there if you are a good book re reader you can speak anything from the knowledge you have grasped in through the books so you can say book reading is just like doing a great friendship with my friends okay that's great
my next question from you uh, how do you define success and what is success for you well this is a great question arslan and i will say success is not what others want of you because people will want so many things from you you should be a doctor you should be an engineer you should be an itian the real meaning of success in a layman language is what you want in your life and those dreams are not big dreams even small happiness small achievements are your great definition of success and for achieving those success you know you need not to be a big 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 dreams in your bucket list small step step by step a motorful you can say a great knowledge a great mission defines real value of success and you can attain success only by three things hard work dedication and perseverance because consistency in your personality consistency in your thought that defines where is your success and how you are going to attain it have you visited pakistan yet and what is your experience well it's i haven't get, got any chance to visit your country but really i respect your country i love the culture i love the biryanis oh my god and sewaiya which i always see on the just on the photograph but it will be a great you know chance to visit your country to learn your culture and of course biryanis and <laughs> foodi so it it is a dream for me and i hope uh, if god wants everything will be sorted out and i'll be there hey, what are your three favorite food dishes well as i said about the word biryani so you can say biryani and dal chawal and roti sabzi of course so i'm a very simple person and i love simple food except biryani <laughs> okay uh, what are the most important skills for a leader to have well leadership when we talk about some people get confusion with a bossy attitude and that is not the exact definition of a leader leader is to inspire the people to motivate the people with your great deeds you know for example if i want to motivate any person i can't motivate just by telling you should do this you should become rather i should motivate i should create those were you can say that zest that automatically that person should get up and be ready to take up the lead and to move forward so leadership is when you motivate a person with your deeds when you inspire someone and you be as a role model rather than a bossy attitude so just a simple definition of leader my next question from you how to stay motivated uh, in life Uh, while facing challenges well arslan this is really really great question and this way my personal question also because what i have learned from my life my experience in your life there is no one to motivate you there is there will be few people but not always your own motivation is the person who see every day in the mirror and that is you only you can inspire yourself and always remember a person who can give you a challenge it's you a person who can break you it's you and a person who can make you it's you you know there are so many people who says we are going to counselor we are going to psychologist we are going to psychiatrist we are not happy but your all answers are not with the counselor or psychologist your all answers is with you and only you can motivate yourself not others so keep motivating your soul with your own soul thank you <laughs> can you name a person who has had the most tremendous impact on you well there are so many people but yes uh, you can say a great personality uh, i love uh, you can uh, say my mother who is there with me and still with me in every step of my life she always motivate me she always guide me and yes even though when i do any mistake she will come and tell you did a wrong thing so i can say everything in my life 
is my mother who motivates me and keep on guiding me with her own experiences. So I give all my success credits to her, her blessings. And still she's, she was, uh, you know, uh, she used to see, see my all shows and bless me always. Okay, my a last question from you. Uh, what have you learned uh, through your uh, life journey and uh, what is your advice for the audience? Well, in my life journey, I have learned one great experience and I would love to tell through this quotation. People will break you, shake you, hate you, rate you. I repeat, people will hate you, rate you, shake you, break you. But it's you who will make you. So keep making yourself with your zest, with your passion, with your own, uh, you can say, enthusiasm. Because there is no one who can push you except you. Okay, thank you so much uh, for your precious time. Thank you so much, Arslan. It was a really a great, great, great time. And thank you so much for inviting me to share. It was really, really lovely being interviewed by you. Thank you so much. May you get more success in your life and achieve your dreams. So uh, to watch more episodes like this, you can follow me on YouTube, Facebook, on my uh, channel, Aslan YT, and Take care, keep smiling, and always stay happy. Thank you. Thank you, you too. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye.